Hey guys, Nikki here and I have a luxury haul for you guys. It's been a minute since I've like been in front of the camera. I feel like a new YouTuber, you get what I'm saying? But we about to get it popping. Um, yeah, I've been waiting to bring you guys this. This luxury haul is really gonna turn into a perfume haul. Cause that's what I'm into. It just looks so naked over here. I can't lie, I moved my plant because it'd be a little dusty. Y'all know that and I dust that damn plant every day. I'm gonna bring it back. Y'all just gonna see the dust today. I feel so much better, okay? So now it's uh, okay. Hold on, sis. We can't be interfering with each other though. So I am, I got a luxury haul, guys. So it is going to be sponsored by Dossier. First of all, I'm going to show you guys a lot of perfume like I always do. That's just what I'm into now. Don't act like you don't notice what I'm into now. Boom. Okay. <laughs> so before I do that, Dossier is a perfume company I work with all the freaking time. All the time. Don't I talk about them all the time? Okay. Their bottles start at $29 a bottle. Boom. This is what they look like. Very simple, very minimalist very very affordable they start at 29 for like your ysls and etc and then when you want your joe malone's your tongue fours it go up to like 59 dollars there's a magnetic top right here if i didn't say thank you for sponsoring this video dossier and i just love them because we show you guys so many fragrances now and ooh, i don't even want to think about how much i spent on all this i'm about to show y'all but i like to bring a variety because they dupe and they are inspired by some of our favorites okay so let's talk about this one this is citrus tea and it is um inspired by le labo nor and what i do is take my label maker and just put right here at the bottom what it's inspired by so there won't be no confusion, honey. Can y'all see it? Okay. So this um this is one of my favorite inspired by houses because like now they have it in Walmart. But guess what? If you go get out of Walmart, you can't use my code and you can't get a discount. So I will leave my code below along with the link. Click below. You can have it delivered straight to your doorstep. Okay. So this one right here is Floral Rhubarb, which is uh, inspired by my favorite springtime scent which is Marc Jacobs perfect so I'm just gonna y'all I'm gonna be spraying a lot this video you guys can see this is one of my favorites and y'all I'm gonna change my smoke to take the batteries don't fight big plaque because y'all like the tussle okay so dossier you can try it before you commit to it if you don't like it send it back for a refund they have so many fragrances to choose from it's ridiculous and they build every day they have male female unisex everything if you see something over here and that's just not something you will pay for perfume go on over to dossier yeah i'm gonna have to change that <laughs> go on over to dossier and see if they have it first and use my code to save them coins so y'all ready for what i got let's go as far as my look today i'm real put together i look similar to a picture i just took this is a totally different dress and everything but it's the same look i will link everything below along with my apple watch band my tennis bracelet girl is backwards in the camera so that's why i said my tennis bracelet so anyway i'm gonna start with the least expensive fragrances if you watch my vlogs i'm gonna go fast I'm going to just tell y'all that because it's a lot like always. But if you watch my vlogs, you probably saw all of these already. So we're just, or oh, my TikTok. Y'all know I just got on TikTok when it was COVID and all that. And y'all was building y'all numbers. I was sick as hell. So I won't think about no TikTok. Now I'm like a late bloomer and I'm still trying to build my numbers. Uh, anyway, off track. Um, this is Oud for Glory. My good sis Peyton loves Oud for Greatness. I went to the sit room. It's like $400 and it wasn't me. But my other sis, Miss Diva Like, said they had this on Amazon. It was so good. Her mom took it from her when she wore it to her mom's birthday. And so I hopped right on over to Amazon and got it myself. This bottle is gorgeous, okay? It's heavy. It's very weighted. And this was only like $40, I want to say. Now, Amazon has this thing, like, after this video, it's going to go up, okay? It's going to go up because y'all going to click it to buy it, and they're going to go up like two, three, four, five dollars $5, but it's still worth the price. This is the bottle right here. Smells, I smell Baccarat open up, 
opening up and then it dries down to a oud. Now I recently discovered that I'm not a big oud person, but it's not an overpowering oud to where I don't like it. I absolutely love it and I do think it was worth the bottle. I mean the price, just look at the bottle. The packaging everything i don't keep the packaging on none of my fragrances but some of you guys do in that matter even the bottom like look at that 50 bucks let's move on to what my cousin gave me she gave me giorgio amani c fiori i have c c intense c passion and she said i needed this one this is the pink version so if you think i need it go get it no just playing so she gifted me this one Sorry guys, my lights are extremely bright. This is like a pink color. Let's just take it back. She gifted me this one right here. And she said this is the best out the bunch. I don't agree, but it do smell very pretty. Oh, mm, it's like sweet and floral, but not too floral. I'm not good at describing scents. I can just say I like it or I don't. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm so glad my cousin got this for me and it completed my little C collection. I gotta take a break because I gotta go get my trash bag for all these boxes. <laughs> all right, guys, let's talk Sephora VIB. I didn't overindulge like I used two years ago. I just got three um, designer fragrances that I have been wanting. Oh, I got Chloe Nomad. You guys, if you watch my vlogs, you saw where I made the mistake and took this back and regretted it. And I got Gucci Floral something, Gardenia, and that smells awesome. But it don't last. Like as soon as you spray it on, it's gone. So I regret it not keeping this. So I did get it. And I oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. Please run and get this. Pretty Brit MUA talks about this all the time. And I didn't see it at first, but this is like so freaking good. And this is the perfume. I try to get the perfume, not the toilet water, which is the toilet. Um, it smells so good. Oh, it's so lightweight and everyday and airy and pretty. It's bum. Now, I also picked up the Flower Bone Ruby Orchid, and I picked this up because it's full of peach. This is what the bottle looked like. Mm, do I like it? Yes, but could I have done without it? Yes, but am I going to keep it? Yes, because it's full of peach. And you guys know I love peach, nectarine, nectar type scents. Yeah, it's good. It's very, very good. Very, 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 very good. But, girl, the ghetto. <laughs> But um, it's not something I would just reach for every day. Like that Chloe Nomad, I reach for that every day. I would and do. Now, I want to say this is my favorite pickup from the Sephora VIB sale. Ka Ali Deja Blue White Flower. But the hair mist, you guys know I got the perfume already. Super inexpensive. Love the way it spray. Most of my hair mist, I can get confused for perfumes because the bottles are so similar. But this is actually like in an aerosol can. It spray out so lightweight, you didn't even see it right. And it smells so good, but I will admit it did not smell like the white flower must perfume. I mean, white flower deja vu perfume. It smells a little different, but it's still really, really good and I highly recommend it. So they gave me some samples. Do y'all want to see my samples? Mascara, Large Lash by Anastasia, Bite Mascara. Anytime I can get samples, I get mascara. Because if you guys know, recently I ran out of mascaras and I'm like, how did I run out of mascara? Girl, them PR companies ain't sending it like they used to. And that's something that I literally wear every day. And then I got a sample of my favorite Valentino Born in Roma. Miss Queen Nipissant, I always talk about this. And it was just sitting in my um, perfume cabinet. So I was like, let me pull that baby out and ain't put it back since. I literally spray it on every other day. And this is just a retinol from Dr. Brantz. That was a sample. So that's everything I got from the Sephora VIB. So let's talk other deals. I was at the cosmetic company store outlet and I saw the Tom Ford Bitter Peach. This is the 100 milliliters, which is the 3.4 ounce. I had to look and see. And so I got it. You guys know I already had the one ounce. But if I can get the big boy and did y'all not just hear me say I love peach? I got the big boy. I got the big boy and so my little one. This was $225. Don't try your look now. That's why you got to be following me on Snapchat, Instagram, all day when I announce this stuff. Because it's been about a month now since I got this. But I love Tom Ford Bitter Peach and that was such a great deal. So I picked that up. If you pay attention to me, you know I have been obsessing over this Exalte by Fumi Monet. Look at the dent I put in here. And this is big for me because I have like over 200 bottles worth of perfume. 
this is huge and this is new like some of my perfumes are older so they have a dent but this i just got this love this scent it's foolish turkish rose full of turkish rose and oh my i'm not gonna spray it i spray everything i show y'all if i can it's limited edition it's by black creator from emo nation went viral on tiktok i love her i've met her three times every single time she was so freaking friendly and fun and cute so i'm gonna support her so i got a backup bottle which a lot of you guys might say is absurd because that bottle is 250 dollars but once she sell out it's not coming back and i love it so much i don't want to take that chance so i got a backup bottle i spend money how i want <laughs> Okay, so they sent over a lot of skincare samples with it as well. So I'll save them as giveaway items. Da, 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 da. Let's talk to the infamous Bakrat. Yeah, listen, I dialed this. I was like, mm, it ain't me. Da, da, da. I had a full bottle, full bottle. Y'all saw me give it to my best friend. It was their birthday. Then I was like, this, I wanted it. It's so good. I need it. But I went with the extract. Okay. It comes in the red bottle. This is it right here. For some reason, I feel like this is lighter than the original. And for some reason, I'm extra. And I just didn't have the original to compare it to anymore. Because y'all yeah, heard what I just said. But I stayed giving stuff away. So I went on Macari and bought the original again. Came across a good deal. Y'all see how much left in here? And they sold it to me for like 80 bucks. I like the original more. Let me know if it's just me, y'all. I like the original more. It's the throw, the the everything is just more to me with the original. And I thought it was gonna be like that with this one. So I digress. Okay. So this dress is tearing, but my boobs are heavy and dragging it down. So, Jelly, she work on it. House of Siach. Y'all know how I feel about them too. I got four other fragrances from them. Well, I had four. I gave one away in the giveaway to everybody who bought my hair drops. They entered. One person won it. Love the packaging. Gonna throw it away. Love the bottle. Actually love the bottle well not this one so much this looks kind of granny-ish to me and i mean i'm 42 but i'm not a granny i act younger than my child actually this is whisper of nor truth whisper of truth nor now listen here peyton marie charles hype this up I hate it. Me and Peyton do not have the same note. It's some sense like instant crush and stuff we like, but this ain't it. This smell like burnt grandma house. The dry down is really good, but it has to t it has to dry down. I mean, dry down. And who has time for that? Like, I don't want to spray my perfume on, leave out the house, go to my event, come back home, and then I'm just not starting to smell the pretty in it. Mm-mm. I don't like that at all. No. That just smell like a little pee to me. Sorry, House of Siaj. That is not it for me. I'm going to keep that box because I'm going to sell it. I'm going to think on it. Because I played myself with them before seeing how they didn't last and stuff. And end up falling in love with Cherry Garden. I don't like that at all, though. And then I went to dinner with Peyton. Girls' night. And here she come talking about she don't really like it now. Tussle. Let's tussle. <laughs> I told y'all this was heavy on the fragrance. I got one, two, three, four, five more bottles to show you. And these are like three, four hundred dollar bottles of perfume, if that. <sighs> I'm on know about right now. <laughs> these were encouraged by Miss Diva Like. She came to town. She brought me two samples. I love both samples. So I got both perfumes. This is Tizant. Tiziana Terenzi Casapia. Oh my gosh. Where do you need to go? It's white on white. It's so bright. I'm sorry, y'all. Take my word on it. Yeah, I see it a little bit. This top, you can knock a head off with it. But it, it do come with another little top for like when you travel, which I, I don't travel with my perfume. We're going to take some samples like this. 
or we're gonna take a uh what is it called a tonomizer atomizer girl I'm making myself look dumb y'all know what i'm talking about that i get from amazon and feel it i'm not traveling with no bottles the end oh, so pretty can i spray it y'all okay oh oh but i know this is 400 dollars easy oh that smells so good i smell like an edible fruit what the heck is in that <laughs> and then she also encouraged me to get BDK Parfums Gris Chanel, which they just came out with the intent or the straight of this. And I had a discovery set from them and hated every single scent when I first started getting perfume. And now my nose has changed and I love this. I absolutely love it. So here's the bottle right here. This is Juno Sticks. Oh, baby, yeah. Mm. God dang, that smells good. God dang, that smells really good. They don't like it though. Kind of smell like margarita a little bit now. But if I had to recommend something out of this bunch for you to definitely get would be Exalte and Casapia, my higher end. And the lower end scents, I would recommend you getting um, Chloe Nomad. But most of these scents are Duke on Dossier, so try that first. Now, 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 let's get to the heavy hitters. Y'all know I love me some perfumes to Marley. Hit every time. That's how I said speech. Liquid IV. I'll link it below. Look, I have not yet got a scent from them I ain't like. And to top that, I got to meet the owners Monday. It is now Saturday. And to top that, the owners were so sweet. Too sweet. French me, you know how they feel about chocolate. <laughs> but they were so sweet and welcoming. They signed all of my bottles. I took all my bottles. They signed them. They, we had a great time. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and I just love the house. Parfums de Marley. So let's get into it. I got a sample of Athalia. Ooh, it just fell out. Definitely will be getting this. At first, I was like... But they really like it. And FYI, it is the one that come in the black bottle. Girl, they went in the trash. Yeah, I was shook. They rolled in the trash. No, uh -uh, don't play. Don't play a big clip like that today. So, I did get a Delina candle. It's this mini version. I got me and Peyton a mini version because she likes Delina. That's another scent we agree on. It's a little Delina candle. Why are my lights so bright? Let me test something. I'm burning myself. <gasps> okay, now I can't see. Let's turn my monitor off. But it's a little bitty candle. <sighs> Is that better for y'all without that main light? Which one was better? It looks sexy and romantic now, huh? Let's keep it like this. Okay, so I got La Rose, and as you can see, I'm enjoying La Rose. I'm, I thought I wasn't a rose person, but I love this scent. And you see, the owner and the uh, creator signed the top, and the marketing director of America signed the bottom. <sighs> love this. I want to say this is my... I love Delina Exclusive so much. When they asked me what was my favorite, I said Delina Exclusive because this is good, but Delina Exclusive is like wedding day. It's beautiful, but this is good. I would say Delina Exclusive, this, then Delina, okay? And this bottle, this is La Rose. I love their bottles. So, so I also got Casilli. Is that how you pronounce it? It's the peach bottle. See, I thought my lights was better. Yeah, I know this is really sad, right? Because I've been doing YouTube 50 years and act like I can't get my lights right. But this is the peach bottle. As you can see, this is signed on the back as well. Uh-uh, uh-uh, one of them did sign it. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Oop, where are we at? There we go the peach bottle 
Now, when they sold me this, they said that it was full of peach. They as in the scent room. And a peach in this dang thing. But it do smell peachy. So, oh, that smells so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. So, it's good, it's good. I also got the hand cream, but where is it? I think I showed y'all that already. In like another vlog of, or spoiling myself. Trust me, I got the hand cream and then I got Roger 51. I think I showed y'all these. I'm, well, at the meet and greet, I actually came home with Meloria. Meloria? Meloria? Mm, the white one. The bottle is actually, this bottle is gorgeous. With the white tassel and the clear top, I'm wearing this today. Springtime, beautiful. I did not get this one signed though. This is the one I came home with from the meet and greet. I got all my other ones signed, like exclusive, Delina, um, what else is in there? The pink one, Casil, I mean, Orion, I, or, uh, yeah. But I didn't get my new one signed. This is so good to me. I just love them. I just love them. I just love them. So that's all of the perfume I got. Cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. So next, let's move into some items that I got from Coach. We just gonna keep it rolling. So I've been wanting these flip-flops. I saw them on Instagram. Search, 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 search. Couldn't find them. Went to the outlet one day, and here they were. The holographic sequence. They're clear, the double C's are hollow. I know you see it, you see it. All right guys, so those are roughly, on here is say, on here is say 95, but I got it from the outlet, so I don't think they were that expensive. So this was the most expensive thing. Oh, this aggravating y'all, I'm sorry. Dang, I brought you out, now you wanna just do, act crazy. You got ready, you look dusty. Okay. So that's better. So this is the most expensive thing and I couldn't even believe that. These are $118. You know how Coach always got 20, 60, I ain't paid it for these, but these are just hoops. And then the blinged out part right here say Coach. There you go. Super cute. The last thing I got from Coach was a bando. It's pink. Dark pink is pink, fuchsia, and cream. I really wanted the brown one. But you guys know I use these to tie around my hair when my frontals are pulling up. I use these to tie on my handbags. Um, it's just like a Hermes Twilly or a Louis Vuitton Bandeau. It serves the same purpose. So if you guys didn't know, I showed you guys some Tory Burch earrings that I am in love with. They were gold, matte gold, and I said I was going to go back and get the metallic golds. Well, I was searching and saw them in rose gold. And if you guys know, recently I told you guys I have been trying to build my rose gold because my wedding ring is rose gold. And so I got the rose gold version. Uh-oh. There we go. They're matte as well. I still want to get the 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 shiny gold because when I wear like my shiny gold necklaces and bracelets and stuff and I put the matte gold earrings, it kind of clash. But I couldn't turn these matte gold ones up. And if you're searching for these, search places like Macari, um, Poshmark, stuff like that because they only sell the shiny golds on the actual Tory Burch website right now. So these were all like past collections and stuff absolutely love those so if you follow me on tiktok you saw these heels this is the infamous YSL heel that everybody claims is so hard to walk in i'm a heel walker like a heel walker i didn't own not one pair of tennis shoes before i started doing makeup so what's hard for a lot of people is not hard at me at, for me at all at all but i understand how y'all can say they are super hard to walk in <laughs> So, I do have a bougie. Can y'all believe I only got one bougie item? I told y'all I'm done with it. And this is, I've been bought it. So, after this, it won't be anymore. I needed a, a gold and beige. 
I caught it. Oh my gosh. So I got this bag right here. My lights are so bright. There you have the true color right there. If you watch my most recent vlog, I had a pair of shoes tied up, up on me. So you ain't got to ever worry about playing by none of this bougie. Because that's if I would have been somewhere important, that would have been embarrassing. So my last purchases, you guys already saw them as well. Hermes, I did a TikTok with these. So let me show you two. And these are 100% opt-in. All right, so you guys know I got Twilly. The perfume look at this little package and it's always been like so cute to me i slept on this and look at the den i put in it oh you can't see it boy let me tell you why i slept on it because when you first spray this you're like let it dry down oh it come back it's so powdery and gingery and so freaking good definitely will repurchase this over and over and over so they sent they put some samples in here this is a sample of, oh no, it's not going to give away Twilly and another version of Twilly. So, thank you so much. So, let me show y'all what I got from them. I'm getting hot. I got some shoes. These are probably the most least expensive shoes you can get on their website. It was all bowled up real cute and stuff, but I had to undo it for my TikTok. So, this is called, I can't even remember, y'all. Where's my receipt? I wanted these so bad in black, but they sold out. You can get them on like fashion file and stuff in black, but um, they're going to add a hundred, hundred fifty, two hundred dollars. So that's not worth it to me. I just wear my black Tory Burch sandals. It ain't that serious, but spring is coming and I thought this was a good spring color. That's still not true color. It's like a mint green. It's something, they're called something that starts with an E. Elgari or something like that. So you can still find this color on the Hermes website, but it's a limited amount of sizes. It's like the smaller sizes, I want to say. And this is what I initially wanted. I'm so bright. I don't like that, y'all. Okay, so I got my first pair of Auron sandals, if that's how you pronounce it. And I got this color right here. So I looked at Pockets and Bows because she probably got about 30 pair of these, okay? Love her. And um, I got a size 39 um, because she said, depending on the, this is the leather ones. Like some of them stretch out, some of them run small. And when I see a lot of people in these, they be looking so small on their feet. So I didn't want that look. So this is the color I end up getting. I do want white. I actually just got some from Shoe Deal. That was $16, y'all. That was red. That was real cute. It looked just like these. But I, you know, like I said, Shoe Deal is not a dupe. Shoe Deal is, I mean, Shoe Deal is not a replica. It's a dupe. It's a big difference. They, they don't say Hermes stepped all over, stamped all over. They do not have Hermes stamped all over or anything. They just a regular brand. Um, but as far as rep, reps and booze on the budget items, mm -mm, I'm done with them. Like, let's just be real. I was building my purple shelf in my beauty room. My best friends sell them. So I walk up in there sometimes and just be like, ooh, this cute and grab it. But, 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 but if they gonna be embarrassing me, her on out. If it don't come from Neiman's, the website, I don't want it, okay? So these were like $640 ish. These were only like $295. Ooh, and that perfume was like $110. So that's everything, guys. I will leave the link to Dicea below. Thanks again for sponsoring this video. Give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't a subscriber. What you waiting on? Hit that bell so you get a notification every time I load a new video. And I'm about. Bye.